Welcome to Heavy Nature. Today, uh, I knew it was going to be a foggy morning for this area, uh, northeast Georgia. I am at Fort Yargo State Park, which is in Winder, Georgia. And we've had a, a rainy couple of days, and uh, I did my best to get up uh, in time to come out to this park. It's about 20 minutes from my house, so it's really not that far. And uh, I was hoping to get conditions where there was some fog. Yeah, looks like we're going to get some. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I've never walked the, the lake trail. Uh, I've only biked it, so I didn't really see what there was to offer um, as far as uh, photography opportunities. But it's a beautiful morning. It's not raining yet. And I hope it won't rain. But um, anyway, there'll be less people on the trails, I believe. Uh, behind me, across the water, you can see they built a new visitor center, a new entrance to this park um, since I was here last, but I think they did this uh, less than a year ago or so, and it looks amazing. I'm going to uh, plant right here for a minute and uh, get some shots of the, the new building with the fog and the reflection in the water and see how that turns out. And I'm going to uh, walk the, the lake trail. It's 5.7 miles. Uh, I got everything with me and hopefully some some nice things will happen. We'll see. I have no idea what's going to happen, but um, I'm just glad to be outside. It's, a, it's yes, it's a beautiful day. Conditions, uh, fog. It's not hot. It's about 70, 70 degrees or so, and uh, I'm looking forward to a fun morning, walking around and, and just enjoying the scenery. Okay, I'm on the water front side, lake side, whatever you want to call it here. Um, just give you a quick look behind me. Still some cool fog uh, around the water. And I just wanted to talk about the shot I'm going for. So I got that little uh, peninsula going on there with a uh, little bit of reflection. Um, I am... Uh, doing a little bit of a long exposure, kind of about half a second or so, just to see if the, the water will smooth out. Um, I took some shots uh, just without any filters and I just put on a circular polarizer to see if that'll take a little bit of the glare off the water, um, see if it'll deepen. There's not that many colors in that shot. side of me yeah see the ground um, and there's a bridge going over the water there so uh, that's got some more color in it. I'm gonna turn around and get some shots of that but uh, I haven't really gotten very far in in my my hike um, I kind of want to keep my options open and, and get as many shots as I can quickly while the fog is still around I think it will last for quite a while though based on the, the conditions um, I don't know if I'm going to make the whole 5.7 mile loop, although that would be nice just to get that under my belt and burn some some calories today. But um, yeah, the the rain. Don't know if the mic was picking it up. It's uh, just gently falling off the trees and drizzling. Um, it's not getting me soaked at all. So this is this is really cool. I haven't seen one other person out here yet, and I've been out here probably uh, 45 minutes. So, yeah, so far so good. Um, we'll see if these shots come out and uh, I'll throw them up on screen and uh, keep plugging away.
okay, what I'm looking at here is there's a about a 12, 15 foot tree that is isolated by itself and it's got the, the tall trees behind it with some fog giving some good depth. The tree is a is a very peach and light green color and it's almost like a, a bioluminescence um, on the leaves. I've, I've come across a bunch of these trees walking around and this one was finally by itself has a little bit of interest in the foreground with the stump to one side. Um, it's kind of fr I've got a frame between two taller trees on either side, and then the, the fog is kind of set in the background. Uh, I'm hoping once I get this into post processing that I can make the color pop even more, maybe even give it a little vignette and uh, kind of make it look like that tree is lit from the inside. That that'd be kind of cool. kind of hid out from the rain for a while in a pavilion by the uh, small beach here at Fort Yargo State Park and the rain's let up so I'm taking this chance to head back to the car um, eventually you know I gotta bite the bullet and take some adventures in the rain but I guess not today <laughs> um, it's still beautiful scenery I've been out here for a few hours since uh, sunrise pretty much Although I just missed the, the actual sunrise, but it was so cloudy that it, it didn't really matter. Um, but it's been a great morning and uh, I've been practicing with my, my GoPro Hero 9 for a little bit. Trying to get the ins and outs worked out with that. Um, still a beautiful day, beautiful location. So this is Fort Yargo Lake, and uh, yeah, I can't I can't get over at this location how peach color the leaves are, it's like this soft pinky yellow green. It's really kind of cool. It's not the typical like yellows and oranges and reds. So it's been a good uh, good morning, and. Uh, Probably take me about a half hour to get back to the car, but I didn't wear my knee brace, so that was a risk, but I didn't want to deal with it after I broke the belt buckle on my hiking pants here when I was pulling the strap tighter. It just kind of blew apart on me, so my belt is tied in a knot, and that was enough frustration to just get away from the car and, and head out so walking back through the disc golf course have to be careful on the the wood bridges the, they're really slick um yeah so i will uh head home and uh take a look at the stuff i got today all right i'll see you later here i am looking off into the distance again when I have a camera pointed at me. But, um, hi, 